What is going on guys, Theo here back with another Marvel Strike Force video. Hopefully you guys are having a very fantastic day. Today guys, I'm going to be discussing all the teams in Marvel Strike Force that you should be avoiding building or straight up not over investing at all. Uh, a lot of these teams are starting to get crept out of the meta and a lot of them aren't going to get you any value of what they used to back in the day. Uh, but this is just going to be my opinion on the teams that you shouldn't be building or over investing in. If you do want to over invest in any of these or build them up to the highest level, that's totally up to you. This is just my opinion on how you can really play the most efficiently which is again how i really like to play but if you do enjoy this video please be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff and let's get into say with me guys the intro Alrighty, guys welcome back to another marvel strike force video hopefully you guys are doing fantastic so what do I mean by avoiding to build these teams or avoiding to build them all together? Well, let me go to my roster here and show you all the teams that I have favorited here. And basically from what you can see already, a lot of these teams are yes, older Ray teams. That is going to be the first teams that I'm going to be telling you not to over invest in or invest in right now. Yes. So Web Warriors are, is a team that I believe is given out to a lot of newer players nowadays, especially if you start the game and it's really going to, you know, it's not going to hurt you to invest in them in, in the slightest. And that's why I'm saying it's, this is more of a video to avoid over investing them because you can invest in them to a certain point where it's not really going to hurt your roster. But yes, web warriors is a team that is corrupt out of the meta now. And basically the whole first, uh, you know, the first the whole group of teams that I'm going to be discussing is older raid teams. And yes, I put, I put bionic Avengers here because actually bionic Avengers is getting powerful power crept out of the meta already they're probably not going to be used for the new incursion raids going forward so investing in them or over investing in them like i did right here is going to be a huge mistake going forward uh, even though some of these teams here are scourge teams as well you're still not going to get the value that you're going to need like over investing the gear in them right now is really not going to hold up the value in my opinion so that way that's why you really shouldn't be investing in these teams web warriors are not being used anywhere in the game anymore you could use them for dark dimension 5 if you really wanted to for city but in my opinion if you use cloak dagger uh firestar probably gwenpool and then i don't know shang chi or squirrel girl you'll probably have a way better team there these teams sorry web warriors are completely gone now you could use them for maybe city nodes or maybe like in rays or maybe spider verse nodes but that's it you're not really going to get used out of them uh they're really really good probably early game especially if you're starting in the early raids so maybe you can build them up to gear tier 11 level 60 but other than that i wouldn't really go past that and then bionic avengers same thing right now you know a lot of people they are they are still being used in the doom 3.5 but in my opinion they i don't think their kits were very much designed to be in 3.5 uh if you look at viv vision's kit actually she has a uh her her special here is like if you kill an enemy with this thing i don't know it, it this never happens so I, I honestly i just learned about this the other day on one of duartic streams shout out to duartic but uh on kill apply offense down for two turns and ability block for two turns to all adjacent enemies yes that is completely useless i don't think i've ever ever seen that once in my time playing this game uh and it looks like they were designed for like doom too so you know they're really not going to get you any use right now and investing in them is probably a huge mistake uh and then another one the last one for raid teams here it, it is considered an older raid team but yes secret avengers even with shang chi and kestrel being two plug and play characters right now these two characters on their own right are getting power crept out of the meta slowly but surely uh even like they just announced the new nova scourge team sorry the nova team and it looks like it's going to be like a meta 3.0 now like like you know how we got silver surfer which started 2.0 and then after quicksilver and now it's going to be 3.0 with nova and quicksilver like it's going to be these characters are just going to get way out of hand like nova's kit is so long it's a huge freaking paragraph of text and it's absolutely insane but i would completely avoid building these three teams right here these are the old three raid teams in my opinion and investing in them is not going to get you any benefit in the future you can invest in kestrel to gear tier 17 but again i'm also saying not to over invest as well so don't build kestrel past level 90 at least right now because it looks like she's going to get power crep pretty soon but that's that's for the raid teams let's move on to the next topic which is scourge teams yes so uh these scourge teams right here as you can see i've barely invested in any of them at all um you know 
Young Avengers, I built up my scroll girl for Dark Dimension 5, but that's about it, man. And I have a seven star rogue today, and I have a seven star Red Hulk, I have a seven star Archangel, and I don't haven't I haven't invested that much into any of these teams, guys, and I'm I'm doing just fine. I have all my legendaries at seven stars. It took me a little bit longer to get them, but again, I was patient enough and I did get them to seven stars, so that was fine for me. I don't think you should really invest in these teams anymore, especially Young Avengers. I know it might be tempting to build Young Avengers, they are still good on Cosmic Crucible defense but you're not going to get the value that you once did with them back in the day and then hero as guardians they are an okay war defensive team um you know war dogs can absolutely annihilate them and then then you know a couple other teams can destroy them icarus and cersei can kill them before they even take a turn thor is probably the only character that might be slightly worth building higher as you can see i have a massive thor because i just like thor as a character he's one of my favorite characters which is why i overbuilt him and yes you can invest in characters that you enjoy in marvel because i don't know it's like a little side project that i had because i really liked thor so i wanted to overbuild him it probably wasn't a great use of my investment but you can see that right now uh and then yes war dogs i actually made a video about war dogs slash wakandans and how i think that they're actually not worth building right now they're not worth building or over investing in i should say they're not worth over investing in take them to like year tier 15 level 80 and that should be good enough for you they'll get the job done at that point they are very t4 heavy um they'll get you some use out of the early campaigns I'll get you used in the gamma raids but other than that i don't believe that war dogs is worth investing in and yes i would totally avoid these scourge teams altogether and then i have a very controversial pick here let me uh let me show you guys masters of evil this might be a very controversial pick let me know in the comments down below what you guys think but in my opinion and this doesn't include kang by the way so just get rid of kang but the rest of these guys are complete trash like they don't and other than cosmic crucible these guys are apps they just blow everywhere else man like they're absolute garbage i never use them anywhere probably because i don't have my absorbing man built but even with absorbing man built i don't think these guys would be good anyways they definitely lack a lot of power in other game modes and in cosmic crucible the only use that they have right now is to fight the wakandans and that's it man you're not going to get to use them anywhere else they're really bad in war in my opinion like if kang's not on the team like kang basically carries this whole team in other game modes man like if they don't have kang then it's a gg these guys are gonna suffer without him the team itself is very very bad in my opinion outside of cosmic crucible and i really don't think you should be investing in these guys i know it's I, like over investing at least maybe build them to gear tier 15 level 80 like the black or the uh war dogs because they are going to be a scourge team to unlock nova but i'm not even going to be using absorbing man anyway for the nova scourge i'm going to be using quicksilver instead because i believe quicksilver will get get me a lot more value in the future plus i believe he's i really he's a good character it's just very hard to invest in him right now with all the other mystic characters that i'm working on also he does require dark promotion credits which nova does as well and i would rather much have nova especially now knowing what his kit's gonna be uh i'm gonna have to go over that in a second here but now knowing what his kit's gonna be with the full team he is definitely gonna be a way better character to invest dark promotion credits in in my opinion he probably will be dark promotion credits i would definitely hold off on building you know the red stars and other characters right now just hold them right now because we don't know if he's going to be dark promotion credits but considering he's going to be a scourge character i would definitely wait off on that but yes this might be a controversial pick like i said but masters of evil in my opinion are definitely a, t a team that you should avoid over investing in or even building altogether. they're not that great ultron might definitely be a better character standalone you can build him up if you'd like he is a dark dimension 2 unlock so if you are a newer player and you just be dark dimension two and you got ultron he's definitely not gonna it's not gonna hurt you to have him upgraded in your roster he's definitely gonna help you a lot in the early game especially but i other than that this team in my opinion isn't that great uh yeah i, I don't yeah it's fine okay and then my last pick this might also be controversial is going to be the gamma team and this doesn't include red hulk as well and this uh you know hulk you can do with or without but yes now knowing what the nova team is going to do sorry the nowhere team they're going to completely counter gamma in war and they might counter gamma in other game modes as well we don't know especially with nova having a battlefield effect that basically counters red hulk um red hulk as a standalone character though you can definitely build him all the way you can over invest in everything you want into him seven red gear tier 17 iso 5 all that good stuff but the rest of the gamma team in my opinion besides the apocalypse saga if you really want to go for the big boy apocalypse gear tier 17 level 90 i don't believe that you guys should be over investing in these guys at least don't build them up to level 95 right now because the nova team the nowhere high 
Heist team, not the Nowhere Heist team, the Nowhere team is going to completely counter them in war. And we don't know, they might counter them in every other game mode too. So who knows? I would definitely wait on investing in these guys, um, at least past a certain point. Like don't go past level 90 gear tier 17 because they are going to have a complete counter now, which is insane. Uh, there's really no point in over investing in them now because they're not going to hold as good in war, especially if the Nowhere team can just one tap them every single time, no matter how much you invest in them, right? If you invest them all the way up to like 1.5 million, the Nowhere team might be able to punch up like three, 400K, no problem, right? Like it, we don't really know yet. I would definitely avoid over investing in these guys. And that is just my opinion. Again, if you are a newer player and you are watching this video, what I mean by over invest is like gear to your 80 level 15. Like don't go past that point, at least because that's really where the end game starts to hurt your roster. If you go past that point, um, other than that, though, if you're a beginning player, then, you know, just oh, don't don't over invest in these guys like it's just really not going to be worth it in the long run and that is the whole point of this video but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed it those are the teams that i would avoid over investing in or building all together right now uh it's just my opinion though if you guys have any differing opinions let me know down in the comments down below other than that guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff i'm definitely going to be making a ton of marvel strike force content in the future my apologies for not uploading the last couple of days i've just been very busy with life and unfortunately life takes priority over marvel strike force but anyways guys that's going to be it for me hopefully you all enjoyed peace out